trying to understand a very simple concept in life, okay? It's called exploding or imploding. What happens then if I keep putting air in this balloon? Eh? It will explode, right? There's only one magical balloon in the world that does not explode. Anyone know which one it is? No, that one exploded after. No, 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 no. Only one balloon does not explode. Oh, 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 oh. What did he say? What did he say? He said he smiled. Do you believe this? You're a boy, man. How do you figure that out? You're crazy? Oh, that's amazing. You, you get a prize here. I was expecting you to get that one. I like when you think outside the box. The only balloon that doesn't implode or explode is your mind. You understand? But there's only one condition. You have to blow good information into your mind. Understand? Yes, sir. If you put bad information in your mind, it will explode. It is a matter of time. Take a look at this, okay? Let's do the test. Let's say it was food. And you were eating bad food, but you weren't working out. Right? One candy. Candy, piece of cake, pizza, macaroni and cheese, ice cream. Maybe I should do jiu-jitsu. Let's keep eating ice cream. More ice cream. Cheesecake. More cheesecake. More pizza. Maybe we should use it to look today. Nah. Let's keep eating ice cream. No. More ice cream. More ice cream. More pizza. about the world that are not real. They're messing with your focus. And the more you do it, one day, all that is going to catch up with you. You might be in high school you don't get into that advanced placement class. Yes, sir. Another thing is life being too easy, like comfort. If mommy and daddy are doing everything for you because they love you too much, if it's time you start taking care of some of the responsibilities of your own laundry, right? Because eventually when it's time to be your own man, grown man, right? Your own lady, grown woman, right? You're not going to be capable of doing anything for yourself. And it starts from a very young age in something that we call our what? Shores. 
and not daily chores, you need to do more and more chores. I've been on top of you about the multiplication table because if you don't learn the multiplication tables, eventually you will not know any math. It will catch up with you. You're going to blow up like this balloon. And if you know multiplication tables, you put it into one balloon that never blows up, which is what? Mind. If you feed your mind with good things, you're good to go. You're powerful. You're one of those hot air balloons that just keeps floating and sees the world, right? But if you fill your mind with garbage, what happens? It pops. It pops. This is why manners are important. This is why we make a big deal about your manners, about your attitude, about showing respect, about focusing. Because you guys now are young and it's not going to catch up with you today. But it will catch up with you five years from now, ten years from now, fifteen years from now, twenty years from now. I'll catch up with you. If you don't practice your manners, understand? Sooner or later, I'll catch up with you. You're not going to make the best friends that you can possibly make. Because like I always say, birds on the same feather flock together. People with good manners only surround themselves with other people with manners. Nobody likes to talk to somebody who doesn't know how to cover their mouth when they're young. Uh -huh. Right? That doesn't show them the same respect that they're willing to show them. The, thing, the same people that have the time to educate themselves in manners, they're also very likely to have read a lot of books. Because manners are written somewhere in books. I mean, they learn the manners because they read the books. So they read all the books. So they're putting, their minds are not, who wants to have a mind like this? Eh? Like this, empty? See, when you work on your mind, it's the same, except the balloon doesn't what? It doesn't pop. That's the only balloon in the world that doesn't pop. It's your mind. When we build our minds, we build our jujitsu. We we'll build ourselves for school, we build ourselves for everything. And here's the problem. Your parents don't have to teach you good manners at home. And then you go to school and you see kids that are not having good manners. And then your parents come back and this work with those manners, Master Bird, yes, let's do it. And then you go back to school, and what happens? And the problem is that it's not a fair fight. Your parents only have you for two hours, three hours a day, Master Roberto, one to three. School has you for seven, so it's more like. Does that make sense? So we need somebody to help us. Who can help us with this? Right, you get me. Master Roberto and your parents are united to try to make you like the balloon you want to be. But the school sometimes, they don't, they don't give you no homework in my opinion. Right? They let you get away with not looking at people in the eye with yawning. When was the last time you had a teacher correct your school about yawning with your mouth open? When? When? Or before that? Ever. One teacher, I mean, I have, he's in fifth grade, so one. And it turns out his math teacher is actually pretty strict compared to one of the teachers I've seen work from. And one out of five or six grades in kindergarten counting, one out of six did the job of correcting a manner. When was the last time in school somebody, you know, correcting for not sitting with good posture or not looking somebody at the door? So if, 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 let's say, you have seven hours and me and your parents, we got four, how are we going to make up the other three guys? What do we need to do to make sure that we put in good stuff into this balloon? Naresh, what do you think we should do? You gotta talk loud. Should we hire somebody else? I'm hired by the parents to teach you, you understand? Yes. How? You can help yourself by remembering and correcting yourself. I think that will work. What else? 
you can start picking your friends carefully. Right? Find friends that have good manners. Right? Correct yourself. Those are two great uh, choices. What else? Picking your friends carefully. Don't play with your iPad. Huh? Uh, read books instead of iPads, right? What else? You, you know who, found, who invented the iPad? Who? No, really Einstein? Steve Jobs invented the iPad, right? Well, his company, hey, okay? he was the main guy pushing it. Company is Apple, Apple Computers, right? Let me ask a question. Do you think that Steve Jobs get iPads for his kids? Think of it. Wait, he had thousands of iPads with the best apps. You think for Christmas he gave him iPads? No. No. No, he didn't. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Understand? Steve Jobs never gave his kids iPads. You know why? Because the guy that made iPad thought the iPads were bad for education. That computers could not replace a teacher. So I agree with Marcus. I agree with Roman. One of the best things that you can do to help your parents, to help me, and to help yourself, is for you to take charge of what do you put in your head. Everybody wants to have a six pack. So what do we do for a six pack? We do crunches. And we get strong. That's another one that only with age you start later on losing. Your mind, ooh, you have until the end of your life. You still have a strong mind. Your body starts to break down way before your mind. You gotta be investing in this. Think about the lion. What is the difference between us and a lion? What? You gotta talk loud. The camera wants to hear you. Put the camera. A lion is more ferocious. A lion is more ferocious. Why is he ferocious? Because you could fight you could Big, big jaws, big teeth, right? He's a wild animal. I'm kind of a wild animal too, but I'm not a lion. What else? What about his, his claws? Fast and strong. Can I hunt down a lion with nothing? Just no. with my bare hands? Yes. No. No. I appreciate how well you think of my Roberto. And I will get eaten by a lion in a matter of two seconds. Now, pay attention. Pay attention. The main difference between us and the rest of the creatures in this world is that we have a beautiful mind. The lion should invest in running so he can hunt that gazelle. Yes, sir. So he can have a pride. We need to invest in our minds. We don't have big jaws or claws or big muscles like the lion. No, we should be strong. But we're not like the lion. And we're never going to be. You understand? But the lion cannot be like us. We can be super intelligent. If you feed the right information to your head every day you go to school. And then we make that information into something we call habits. Good habits. But you see, the problem is that everything is a battle. It's really two balloons. Okay? The one that's going to be the destruction of you, let's say this is the red balloon, and one that is going to be the formation of you, of who you're going to end up in life. Your parents tell you, good manner. Never forget that. Hold it tight. But your teachers allow you to not work hard and not look focused. For many reasons that maybe you're not ready to understand. They don't want to get in trouble at school. They don't want to get in trouble with the principal. They want to make money so they can go home and feed their kids. It's very, it's very understandable. You know? If a teacher says, I don't like the way things are going, she may lose her job. I don't think that's her either. Understand? They put her in a difficult situation. But the moment you're, you're allowed, when teachers speak, to sit the way Zach is sitting, and I do not correct that. You victor. Your hands in your ears instead of posture. 
not looking at me in the eyes. Every day you go out there and you break down all these manners that we teach you. So it be the end of you. When you don't double check your work. When you are too lazy, you show your work and start to do it in your head and get the problems wrong. It's the end of you. I see I give you a simple example. Do you think we could have put a man on the moon? If we didn't double check our calculations and we did it in our heads? No. You see what will happen to the man in the moon. Our mark is a standard. <laughs> By your way of doing your work in your head without checking your work, the man on the moon will have ended up somewhere in, inside the sun burning down. There's, listen. Everybody you see over there, everybody turn around. Now look over here. They were a kid once. When your parents teach you something, it's for your own good. You understand? Yes, sir. You gotta listen. Your parents' message comes first above anybody else. Understand? Then your parents hire people like myself to keep on delivering the message over your mouth. I need another red balloon. Let's go with the purple now. This is what you did to your brain right now by practicing in a bad manner. You know, sitting in black or sitting in position. Then your parents... Thank you, good manner, over your mouth. Then your parents hire people like myself to give you some skill sets, to give you some benefits. Sometimes even just to say the same thing that they've been telling you all along, but I think for, for, for you to hear it for somebody else, that maybe because he comes to roll fast and can kill a lion with his bare hands, you may listen to it. It's the same message. Understand? Then you listen to that person. Understand? You might have a great teacher in school. But sometimes, you got to make the distinction. Am I putting into the doom balloon or am I putting into the never ending balloon on my head with every single watch? But it's very, very difficult, right? Because this requires discipline. This requires respect. This requires a teacher saying, pay attention, cover your mouth, sit properly. 24-7, seven, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year, every year. The moment we allow this to start slipping, this one starts growing. And it gets to a point when you turn 18, when you turn 19, when you turn 20, that it's going to be very hard to fill this one and get rid of this one. You understand? Because we have formed habits. What do we say about habits? How do you spell habit? H-A-B-I-T. H-A-B-I-T. Right? Habit. Something you do repeatedly, sometimes without even thinking about. Right? And you wake up in the morning and you brush your teeth. Is that a good habit? Yes, sir. Before you sit down to eat, you wash your hands. Is that a good habit? Yes, sir. You went to my bathroom and you didn't put your sandals on because you were in a rush. And now you got pee-pee all over your feet. And now you step in my bathroom with your pee-pee. No. Is that a good habit? No. Yes, you have good habits and bad habits. But they're very hard to break. Check this out. What happens if I take the H out of the word habit? What do I get? You get a bit. Meaning, if you take the H, you still have a bit of a habit. What happens if you take the A? You still have a bit, right? A bit. What happens if you take the B? Meaning, it's very hard to get rid of a habit. Even when you're taking the letters, you still have it. Get it? Have it? Have it? Understand? So, by the way, I learned that from a friend from college, Floyd Smith. If you're watching this, credits to you. Many years ago, he taught me that. Um, this is what I want to teach you. It's very important that you understand why we have to be on top of you, okay? Like crazy people about correcting your multiplication tables. It's 
is we want to put okay information into this balloon that is going to make you a black belt that is going to make you a go-getter that's going to make you a champion in life it's going to make you successful in life if we allow this you're going to blow up you're not going to have the right friends you're not going to make the right choices you're going to be out of shape understand you're going to be sad Right now, not knowing your multiplication table sounds like not a big deal. But imagine when you're older and you don't know them. People are going to think you're dumb. Is that what you want? Right? Every day that passes by, we are, you know, this multiplication table. It keeps growing. Understood? Sure. The people that love, the people that love you the most are going to ask the most of you, to put things here, not here. Understand? I might look the meanest, the craziest, and the most demanding. But this is the reason why. Because in the brain balloon, you can never pop it. The other balloons of bad habits, they pop eventually. And then your life is a mess. Right? 